Welcome to The Power Within. I am Emmy K, and I'm really excited about the message that I have to share this week. I hope from the last video post you were inspired to go within yourself, pull out those dreams, pull out what makes you happy and what makes you tick, and to start working towards it again. Now, this week, the message is about what goes on in our minds. And to paint a picture, to give us some imagery, I want to liken our minds to a garden. I think we've all helped plant or watched somebody plant a garden at least once in our lifetime. So let's think about some of the things that go on in a garden. So we have the planting of seeds, we have watering, weeding, those are some of the main three. So take that image now and let's now shift back to our minds. It's the same as a garden. Whatever is planted in our minds will grow if it is, if it is watered and if it is attended to. And water, watering in our minds is equal to attention and focus. Things will grow if they're planted deliberately or if they're planted accidentally. So just like a garden, an actual garden, we have weeds that blow in with the wind. They're, they're planted accidentally. We probably don't even know or realize that they're there until they're already growing and you know, they start strangling our tomato plants. So it's the same thing goes on in our mind. Um, and I call these thought weeds. And these thought weeds, some examples are negative thoughts, thoughts of judgment towards yourself or others, thoughts of inadequacy, and they can even be negative influences in your life. So people who are constantly bringing you down, telling you you're not good enough, people who are constantly complaining, those also count as thought weeds. So before we talk about how to replace these weeds with positive seeds, I want to read what James Allen has to say. And this is from the book, As a Man Thinketh. He says, The human mind may be likened to a garden, which may be intelligently cultivated or allowed to run wild. But whether cultivated or neglected, it must and will bring forth. If no useful seeds are put into it, then an abundance of useless weed seeds will fall, accumulate, and will, re will reproduce their own kind. Just as the gardener cultivates the plot, keeping it free from weeds and cultivating the flowers and fruits which are required, so may we tend to the garden of our mind, weeding out all the wrong, useless, and impure thoughts and cultivating toward perfection the flowers and fruits of right, useful, and pure thoughts. By pursuing this process, we sooner or later discover that we are the master gardener of our souls, the director of our lives. This lesson also reveals within ourselves the laws of thought and enables us to understand with ever-increasing accuracy how the thought forces and mind elements operate in the shaping of our character, circumstances, and destiny. Just like in a regular garden, the way we get rid of these thought weeds is we have to go and we have to pluck them out. Sometimes it's a little bit of a daunting task, but it's what needs to be done. So if there are negative people around you, you, you literally have to pluck them out of your lives. It doesn't mean that you be nasty to them or that you treat them unkindly but you simply have to pluck them from your life and then change who you're around be around positive motivating uplifting people who can help keep you going when things might get tough and that that's not going to happen if you keep those negative influences around so one by one, you just got to start plucking those things out of your life. And so with all that aside, 
there are a lot of people who not only allow these weeds to stay in their life, but they're feeding into them, they're watering them. And how we water these negative things are by giving attention to them, posting about them on Facebook, thinking about them, consuming our, ourselves, our thoughts, our emotions with these negative things that go on. We might think it's harmless to put a little post on Facebook about a bad thing that happened that day, but that really is hindering us. So, with all of that, I hope that that brings some clarity to how to move forward in a positive direction towards our dreams. And thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys all next week. And don't forget to follow me on Facebook, facebook.com slash official M-E-K. Instagram is official M-E-K, and Twitter is the official M-E-K.